Welcome to the Effortless Swimming YouTube channel. My name is Brenton Ford and this is Feedback Friday number four, where every Friday we look at someone's stroke, we analyze it and we help you understand what to look for and how to swim faster, more efficiently. So these videos are designed to help you become a better swimmer. Today we're looking at your breathing timing in freestyle and how to tell if you're breathing too late in freestyle. So the first video we're going to look at is of someone who's breathing late. They're turning their head a little too slow or a little too late, so they're just missing out on the timing. And this timing is just throwing the rest of their stroke timing out. So if we look at the, the video of someone who's getting their breathing timing right, you can see that the very first thing that we need to do is when your hand enters on the opposite side to what you're breathing, that's when you start to turn your head. So you can see as the right hand enters, the head begins to turn to the left. So that's your cue. Hand entry, start to turn. Then when we want to bring our head back into the water is when we start to uh, catch the water or we start to pull the water on that uh, with that arm. So we want to be able to kind of put that in motion. We want to put those two together where we start to pull through or start to catch. The head snaps back into the center. So you do that quite, um, you know, quite, quite quickly and with a bit of assertiveness and forcefulness to snap it back into the center. And that hip will drive back down and you get to kind of anchor against that hip. That's what kind of gives you the stability to pull against something. And that's what the best swimmers in the world do. They time their stroke and their breathing and they actually kind of get quite a bit of momentum and force out of that, uh, their head coming back into the water. So if we look at that first video, you can see here, if we want that first cue to happen, which is when the hand enters, we want to start to turn our head. You can see he's just doing it a little bit too late. So he's missing that timing. And then you can see how he's looking up and out of the water for too long while that other arm comes over. And he's already uh, pulled through too far with that left arm before he starts to snap his head back into place. So just losing some of that rhythm and momentum that we want uh, and not quite getting as much uh, sort of propulsion or um, not really vaulting over that left arm out the front. So just the timing of your breathing can throw out a lot of, a lot of other aspects of your stroke. So think about those two cues, which is when the hand enters, that's when you start to turn your head. And then when you wanna turn your head back around is when you start to pull through or start to catch on that arm that had entered out in front. Now, do you have much time to breathe? Not that much, you've gotta be fairly quick with it. And the, often, the almost the quicker you are, um, the better off you'll be to a certain point. Now, you don't wanna spend all day out there breathing because it's very hard to get much power from your stroke when your head's off to the side. For the most part, we wanna try and keep our head center as much as possible and spend as little time as possible breathing as long as you get the right amount of uh, air intake because the power position is with the eyes down and the head down.